pretty cool stuff. Just getting started on my Ski Ride 2 build. First part, frame. Unless you want to count this motor mount. Use this as a test piece. Dial in the print. It's a big machine. And this is a big piece. It's 11 hour, 34 minute print. Got a ways to go. Four and a half more hours. Printing clean so far. This print's been running all night. Almost done. Almost five o'clock in the morning. All this got left. There's points on the top. I have started printing the parts for a Ski Ride 2, my RC Snowmobile build, with my newly acquired Prusa printer. I am currently printing a handier spool holder for changing out um, the collars on this build. This is where I'm at with the build, got the motor mount done and the frame, but this was all new to me. This is my first 3D printer. Got the Prusa Slicer software downloaded, learned how to use the presets and also adjust the settings for this printer for print quality. Did many practice parts. At first I only had white, so I was practicing with that. I've since bought the colors on, I'll need for this um, Ski Ride 2 build, but just printing simple parts to, um, to uh, tune the print quality. So that's the Prusa Slicer. I'm also using the um, Pronter Face, feeding the code through USB cable to the uh, printer. I like the um, control you have with that software. You can also um, use a SD card, load the uh, files directly into the printer. The next part of it is setting up files, purchasing the um, from Ski Ride, and I also got the files from RC Creations for my uh, Yamaha Viper that uh, brushes conversion. Need to make spare parts. Learned how to get that organized and uh, bring the files in and out to the Slicer software. The other thing I did is I have this on shape CAD software, it's free software, and I followed a YouTube tutorial, five-part tutorial, learn how to use it. 
Here's the part I made, follow along with that YouTube tutorial. Let's name the file Simple Thing and step through that tutorial. And then I forced myself to climb the steep side of the learning curve because I really want to be able to design my own parts. So I took this TFL CNC servo mount, blueprinted it, it's just measuring it with veneers. So I've drawn this to the thousandths of an inch to the CNC machine one. And since I've printed it, interesting thing is I measure this, it's within two thousandths of an inch as far as at least a part this size, the accuracy of the printer. It's got every feature on it, every hole, every radius, cutout. So that really opened doors for me to be able to design and print my own parts. These are some parts I've designed and printed since then. Here are some more pieces I've printed, mostly just learning how to tune the printer in this um, Prusa Slicer software for this printer. But these are track pieces from the uh, brushless conversion from RC Creations. Not usable, I need them in black, but look at the difference in size between that brushless conversion from RC Creations and the Ski Ride 2. This is 17 inch overall long machine. If you print the Ski Ride 2, in the 175 inch scale length track, 29 inches overall, so quite a bit bigger. Something I noticed right away is they're recommending to use a piece of 16 gauge galvanized electric fence for the track pins. That measures 55 thousandths of an inch. These track pieces I believe are printed theoretically 80 thousandths of an inch, but the direction are printed, it's not totally accurate. There's a little bit of sag at the top and it's not perfectly smooth. So it's probably about 75 thousandths of an inch, but with a pin that's 55 thousand diameter, it's 20 thousandths of an inch play. What I'm doing is I bought 14 gauge fence wire which measures 78 thousandths of an inch. Drilling it with a number 44 drill, which measures 86 thou. The holes in both of these tracks are same size. And when you drill plastic, it's not drilling out to 86 thou. There's a little bit of shrink. So I probably have about five thousandths of an inch clearance between the track pieces and this 14 gauge wire. Beautiful fit, virtually no play. And what I notice right away is since it's a machine fit, virtually no break in. Track nice and smooth right away. And the other advantage is almost no side to side play this way. So I believe that'll be less chance of the track jumping off with that side play. I've had it happen on my um, brushless conversion with those pins in the track. Um, so yeah, between free running track, no breaking, less wear, and I think it'll stay on better. So ski ride two, it's in the works. And I got a lot of parts to print. Now I'm starting to make a little headway. Got the frame, all the pieces for the tunnel. Also have the shock mounts printed in cool gray using Hatchbox PLA. This box, total print time, 33 hours and six minutes. I still can't help but marvel how smooth it can print gears. 
This is a steering rack and pinion. For my print envelope, I had to go with the cut tunnel files to print these parts. So here's the center tunnel. It's cut in half to fit on my printer bed. Right side tunnel, left side tunnel. It's gonna be a fairly big machine. This is a very well thought out design. Well, this is cut. So it has these overlaps here. And then everything bolts together. Going with black PLA for the ESC mount, motor mount, rack and pinion steering. Also going to do the transmission frame and the idler pulley tensor arm in black. Just think it pops a little more with black versus all gray. On my Yamaha SR Viper, on this hybrid track, I took it off. Took it apart, drilled all the holes out with the number 44 drill bit, 186 diameter. Made up new pins with 14 gauge wire. Again, virtually almost no side play. This is a track I've had a few issues with it popping off on high speed runs. So hope you'll fix that. Interestingly enough, the all these track pieces tightening up the fit on all the pins shortened it that much i had to print two more track pieces in order for it to reach around the skid i got another tray full of parts going there's a transmission frame it's a dry shaft it's a dry shaft drill jig i think that's the idler pulley tension arm front sprocket And so the printing continues. Like I said, all this on black PLA.